All right, we're back with you answering your stimulus questions, and uh, we wanted to make sure that you are able to text us your questions. That number is 336 379 5775. And Mark Hensley from AARP is here to answer many of your questions. All right, so uh, we are getting this question here Is it, cl it a clear $1,200, or are taxes taken out of the stimulus check first? Tanya, that is a great question that's on many people's minds. Please understand this is not a loan. This is not taxable income. And many of the people receiving the stimulus payment are on uh, income-based assistance. This will not affect your benefits and it will not be counted as taxable income when you file your 2020 taxes next year. Okay, so it is a full 1200 bucks, and it's going to come out um, either by check, right, or if it's direct deposit, it's going to say IRS TREZ 310. It's not going to say stimulus payment. It's not going to say economic impact payment, none of that kind of stuff, recovery payment. It is going to say IRS TREZ as an IRS Treasury, and then 310. All right, so the next question we have is, if I get Social Security payments on a card, will I also get my stimulus deposit on the card? That's another great question. If you go to irs.gov and look at all of the information, however you receive your benefit payment, even if it's a reloadable card, that is how you will receive the stimulus payment from the federal government. Okay, so this is another uh, question about taxes. What about if I owe state taxes, will I get stimulus money? It's a great question. There is no connection with owing federal or state taxes. You will get this assistance. Um, directly and it will not have an impact on it owing the state any money or the federal government. There is one disclaimer. If you owe back child support, then that amount of money will be held out of your stimulus payment. Gotcha. And that actually was a follow up question. Will child support be taken out of a stimulus check? But that's only back child support. That's not that is child correct. support that you're continuously paying. That is correct. Okay. Uh, this question says, what do you do if the amount that you received is not correct? So with something this big that's happening across our country, obviously there are going to be some mistakes made. I ask people to be patient. Um, there has been some misunderstanding that the IRS website crashed and it actually didn't crash. It was just so overwhelmed. So if you have a a double amount of money, let's say. That's a great problem to have, but don't go take it out. Um, don't spend it. Just give it a couple of days to let the IRS find these mistakes and correct them. So if it was electronically done, most likely that's how it was done. They can also take some corrective measures and pull that money out. So be patient, um, be understanding. This is a wonderful gift from our nation. Um, I just want to mention that JP Morgan published just a few months ago that more than half Americans struggle to save $400 in a year for an emergency. So having this $1,200 is really to help all Americans alleviate any type of tragedy in this emergency. I mean, the IRS always gets the money that it's due, right? <laughs> um, so um, would it be something where I know people want to get in touch with the IRS, but this might not be the exact best time so maybe this waiting a, a little, to, a few weeks? Yes, be okay. patient. Um, you can go to the website. I do want to mention, if you're checking your status, you're going out to the IRS website uh -huh. multiple times a day. We ask that you don't do that. They update the database one time a day, first thing in the morning, and then it will not be updated again until the next day. So go check one time, and that will help reduce the traffic on that website. The same is true about your bank. We've noted uh, that several banks have had very increased traffic, um, online access, and that is bogging down the system as well. So be patient and try not to overload these systems. All right, and I do think we have a full screen graphic there as well that talks about how they only update the IRS website one time a day. And I wanted to make sure if we could to show everyone that because I've had a couple of questions where they say, I got locked out and um, it said that I had to come back in 24 hours and what do I do in the meantime? So it clearly says here on the IRS page that they only update it 
overnight. And so only to come to the IRS page once a day because it will not change throughout the day. Um, and someone asked, is there any other place besides the IRS website to track their stimulus money? Um, no, that is yeah. the best place to track their stimulus money. And someone asked, um, do you get more money from the feds if you have kids? And the answer is yes, but. Yes, it is, it's very much a yes, but. Um, it is for when you have claimed children under the age of 17 in your 2018 or 2019 um, taxes. So that's how that will be based. And also, if you're receiving SSI, that's a supplemental security income, there is also a $500 um, allowance given to each person who has a dependent claimed uh, by them. So they're not filing taxes, but we were asked for SSI recipients to be patient and to realize that it takes time to, to gather the data about how many dependents, small number, number of people, but still gathering that data will take some time. But if you claimed a dependent under the age of 17 on your 2018, 2019 taxes, there's a $500 allocation in addition to your $1,200 uh, gift from the, from, um, the government. And from what we know, this all comes at one time. It's not like the kid benefit comes at a different time than the $1,200 does. That's a great point. It does come as one payment. Okay. All right. So we're going to continue to take your stimulus questions. In fact, when we come back, we're going to be talking about those who uh, get Social Security uh, disability and if they are having to claim dependents, how they do that on the IRS site, because that's different than anybody else. Everybody else just gets that $500 free and clear if you have kids under the age of 17. But we'll be bringing that up the next time that we come back and we'll be back in just a few minutes.